All right, everybody. I'm out here with this young lady right here. She's a truck driver, and this is this is what she drives. It's a sweet truck. It's a what year is it? It's a it's a Kenworth W900. Uh, how many speed? What speed is it? It's a 13 speed W900, and she's a truck driver. So I'm gonna take my 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 ugly mug off the screen here, and I'm gonna do a little interview with her, and so that y'all can see and get a little bit of taste of what it's like maybe to to be a, a female truck driver. Uh, she's from Canada. Her first language is French, and she's still willing to talk to my country ass about women truck drivers. So we're gonna we're gonna walk through this and just remember, she's from Canada. First language is French, and I'm gonna try to take it a little bit slow because I don't speak French, and we're working through a possible language barrier, right? A little bit. But it's okay, we're gonna get it. So Catherine's being cool. All right, so Catherine, what got you into truck driving? How long have you been truck driving? Let's answer that first. How long have you been a truck driver? Okay, uh, I'm a truck driver since uh, two years now, but I got my license since uh, four years. Okay, so you had your license for four years and you've been driving for two. Yeah. Okay, so what got you into truck driving? Uh, my father was a truck driver before, and uh, my uncle is a broker too. He has his own uh, truck, yeah. Okay, so your father was a driver and your uncle was a broker. Yep. Okay. Well, so the company you drive for right now, is that like a family company of yours? Or is that just a local company up where you live? Yeah, it's a local company. Uh, they are like 20 minutes uh, from my house. And I, I drive from for him since uh, five months now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. And where did you say you were from in Canada? Montreal. Montreal, Canada. Yeah. Okay. What kind of freight do you haul? Uh, reefer. Anything particular? Is it you normally produce, hazmat? Yeah, produce. Okay. Because right now, right now we're actually at a produce facility, guys. That's where we're at. And um, so. Let's talk a little bit about being a female truck driver. Are there any things that you feel like you experience as a female truck driver that maybe is a little bit different from male, from guys? Uh, no, people are really, uh, really, I don't know what it's, um, like, uh, I don't know what how to say it, but. Uh, um, nice. Nice, yeah, people are nice. Uh, I was doing flat bit before, and the uh, guys were always come to me and they were helping me. Uh, yeah, everybody, everybody's nice. Uh, I, I got a couple of guys come see me and just talk like, like you. Hey, hey, what's your job? Where, where are you from? Uh, and people are cool. Yeah. All right, so you've been driving for four years. No, you've had your license for four, driving for two. Yeah. And you've been with this company for five months. So, how long did you do flatbed before you got it? Was it, did you do flatbed the whole time? No, I did the flatbed for three months, and then I come back from the, the company that I'm working for now. Uh, I've I've done uh, uh, a bit of uh, trucking for him before, so I just quit my job and I come back for him uh, five months ago. Okay. Do you think that? Why do you think there are a lot of women? don't get into truck driving because it's it's not that difficult it's just women don't see them as a truck driver because there's not, not many so it's it's kind of di difficult to identify as somebody because we don't really know as much uh, lady drivers as men driver so what made you decide to be one was because your dad was one right and that's yeah. what you said right so has there been, do you have any like girlfriends or like female friends that um, 
are also truck drivers yeah. or are you one of the few that you know that are girls that are truck drivers or? i got a few uh, female truck drivers uh one of my friends uh, she uh, did the she do a, what is it called a, a truck race truck race yeah okay in canada <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah i got a couple uh, friends that are driving too uh, i'm uh, i'll be in the calendar we are doing a calendar in, in quebec uh, so we will be 16 uh, drivers, female drivers in the calendar and we will uh, sell them yeah. Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> That's too cool. That's too cool. Is there a place that, uh, are these calendars going to be for sale? Yes. Where will they be for sale? Where, where can my uh, subscribers find these calendars? Yeah, I, we got an Instagram and Facebook page. It's called the Femme Camionneurs du Québec. Okay, what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna get you to I'm gonna get you to write that down for me. And guys, I'm gonna put that in the in the description below what she just said, uh, where you can find these calendars. All right, and so so when, when, when's the calendar coming out? Uh, in uh, April or May this year. Okay, fantastic. Is it gonna be like snow shots? Like uh, like like I know it's coming out in April or May, so it's gonna be like a winter calendar, like. Or is it going to be like year-round type of so like December is going to have like snow or yeah, we, and then the other months are going to have different pictures. How, how's the calendar going to be set up? Yeah, we got a like four or five shooting photo shooting. Uh huh. So it's uh, all year round. Okay. Summer, winter. Everything. Cool. Yeah. All right. So when you uh, so would you say that there's ever a time as a as a woman truck driver? that you might, that you're ever treated differently? Uh, in in the nice way, not in a bad way. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. So in a, in a nice way, so people are always looking to help you all the time. Yes. Okay, because I noticed you backed it in. You didn't seem to have any problems backing that truck in a while ago. That was uh, that was that was really smooth. Not to say I wasn't expecting. I know female drivers. I know girl, that they can drive, but like it was just, you just got it in there. Like you've been driving a whole lot longer than two years. So what are you? Um, what are your plans? Do you, are you going to be a company driver for a while? You ever want to own a truck, or are you going to? You think you're going to retire driving a truck? I don't know. I'll maybe buy my own truck one day, but I don't know when. Maybe in a couple of years. But yeah, it's it's a plan. Okay. Have you? Uh, how often do you? Because right now we're in uh, upstate New York, in the United States, and you're from Canada. How often do you? Across the border to make your deliveries. Oh, I'm only doing uh, East Coast America. So from uh, Champlain, New York, uh -huh. from Florida, all the all the route in that. Yeah. I'm not traveling in Canada. So you don't cross the border. I'm crossing the border every day. I'm not I'm not uh, working in Canada. Only in the U.S. But I'm living in in Canada. Right, but so you pick up and deliver in the U.S. or you pick up in Canada and then in deliver Canada. to the U.S.? Yeah, in Canada. Right, okay. That's fantastic. All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot. So if there's any, do you have any advice uh, for any any women that may be interested in getting into truck driving? Um, they might be hesitant about doing it because they are a woman? No, if it's a dream, everything's possible. I mean... I'm I'm 24 years old years old and I'm I'm working as a truck driver in the U.S. In Canada, it's like oh shit! In the U.S., it's people are scared because it's kind of dangerous. But uh, no, it's, it's a pretty nice uh, place to, to work. So in Canada, they say the U.S. is dangerous. Not or no, it's just it's dangerous to be uh, a woman alone as a truck driver. Even even in Toronto in, in Canada, but it's just dangerous. People think that it's dangerous. And you haven't experienced any danger at all. No. Nothing Never. weird in two years. Never. Okay. Well, you've been, you've been a big sport. You've been a huge sport and and, and and doing this video. And I know that me and everybody watching really thanks you for it. So I approached Catherine. She actually docked right beside of me here at, at my delivery, and I was like. First of all, she had a super cool truck, and, and I went and gave her one of the koozies that y'all have seen in my store. Um, 
the, the big instructor koozies. And uh, I was, and I and I just asked her, and she she was really nice and and, and nice enough to, to do this this interview. So y'all show some love, comment some uh, about if you know any women truck drivers, if you are a woman truck driver, if you're out of Canada or uh, even even Mexico, or whatever. If you're crossing into the into the U.S. and you're driving too, just like Catherine here, talk about it in the comments. Um, but we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and let her get back in her truck. It's really cold out here. She's such a trooper. So cool for doing this this interview with us. But until next time, as always, drive on, driver. Y'all stay safe out there. <laughs> Catherine, yes.